Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Lan and today I want to show you my vertical garden. This is a great option for those of you who don't have a lot of space or simply just want to add more to your existing garden. This is my second year putting this vertical garden to work and I still love it as the first day that I receive it. I started to assemble it back in the beginning of May when the frost was gone. There are five tiers in this tower. Each of the tiers consists of six divided parts. So all in all, there's a total of 30 containers in this tower. It can fit in a two square feet of space easily. I'm sure most of us have two square feet somewhere outdoor. And below each of the tier, we have a tray like this. The purpose of it is to collect the excess water and drip it down to the lower level. That way, the water is distributed evenly to keep the soil moist among the containers. And once you're done with one, you just stack it up like this. I'm going to plant strawberries on the first two levels because the plants are short and I love the look of the fruit hanging down from the top. Um, it's just simple as that. And please remember to use potting mix because it's much lighter than garden soil. That way uh, it's easier on the roots. I made a mistake of planting roses in container and I used garden soil. And guess what? Of course, the rose die. Alright, let's talk a bit about these strawberries. Most of them I bought from Home Depot. A couple of plants here were from my indoor hydroponic systems. I grew them from seeds and they did really well until the aphids infestation. Because of the weather got warmer, I said, alright, let me take you guys outside to enjoy the real sun. If you want to know how to transplant from hydroponic, in my case, indoor hydroponic to the outside um, soil garden, please check out my other video where I transplant my peppers. It's such a shame that I had to take my indoor garden down and have to restart. But I'm gonna start it um, probably very soon because before we know it, summer is gone. This plant right here doesn't look very healthy and luscious because it went through a shock of being moved from hydroponic environment to the soil container. But it will recover back to its prime in no time. This is another product of hydroponic. It's recovering so looks like it's shooting out new leaves and um, even flowers. I'm putting it right here next to this guy. And the rest are just plants from Home Depot. Look at the root balls. Very healthy. Just bear it right here. There are multiple plants in each of the pot, but I'm not gonna bother to divide them up. I don't want to damage the roots. Now, after only a few weeks, they look really good. Tons of flowers and even some fruits. I planted a couple of peppers plants and eggplant down here. I forgot to mention that the height of each tier is 10 inches. I believe it's deep enough for herbs and these type of plants like peppers, eggplants, strawberries. They're not ideal height but doable. For the rest of the tower, I'm just going to plant different type of herbs. Of course, it's gonna be Asian basil, Italian parsley, Genovese basil. I use that a lot. 
and this is the first time that I try this purple basil. I'll let you know how it tastes like. Maybe not too far away from the Thai basil or the Genovese. Here I have some of the seed. I'm just going to sprinkle them inside the pot and then stir it lightly and then water them so they germinate within the next 5 to 10 days. And there they are. Make sure that you thin them out. For basil, I only keep two plants per spot because I know that this container is not too large. Those purple basil looks really nice. But unfortunately, I will have to pull them out and only keep two plants. It smells like Thai basil. Beautiful. Wait for another week or two, we can start harvesting them. And finally, strawberries are prolific. I mean, this is the first time that I succeed with growing strawberries outdoor. They produce a lot of fruit. All in all, I highly recommend this vertical garden. I have it linked in the description box below in case you want to get one. This little one approved, so it must be good. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Please let me know if you have any questions or comments in the section below. And also please do not forget to subscribe for my future content. I will see you next time. Bye!